We begin tonight with a rally at the State House for criminal justice reform, a crucial vote expected this week by the House of Representatives on a reform package approved by the Senate. The bill would eliminate mandatory sentences for some nonviolent drug offenses, along with some fees and fines for people on probation. Addiction is a disease of social isolation. I used because I felt isolated, and as I used, I became more isolated. In order for people to stay in recovery, they must rebuild social connections. Locking them in institutions and burdening them with collateral consequences does the opposite of this. We need to end mandatory minimums, reform Cory law, and divert people to treatment rather than jail. These are not traffickers or people that are destroying the community. These are people that are barely surviving. Um, and when you give them these five and 10 year uh, mandatory minimum sentences, it's almost a death sentence. The problem with mandatory minimums is is that people don't have access or incentives to participate in programming, treatment, education. And so what happens is people serve these lengthy sentences and then ultimately return back to their community, but they don't have the resources to make their way back in society. And they're returning without rehabilitation, without education, and without a possibility of employment. And then we expect them to be um, you know, productive members of society. How can we expect them to do such thing if they don't have the, the education and they definitely don't have the opportunities that um, they should have because our society are so punitive and we, we refuse to forgive them.